Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be making a video on how I film and edit my videos. I'm gonna be sharing some tips and tricks on what I think make my videos better. And this video has been very requested, so I thought I'd make it today. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so to start this video off, I thought I would just share what camera I use to film and what app I use to edit. So I film on the iPhone 13 and I feel like it's really good quality. So I definitely recommend this phone if you want um, a camera with good quality. And then also um, I film on the app um, camera on iPhone because a lot of people film on the YouTube app, but I feel like it's just, it like, takes away the good quality so I definitely recommend filming on your camera if you don't already and then um, I edit on the app CapCut. Okay also I just recently invested in a tripod and I have to say that it is really good for if you want to film more like steadily if your hand is shaky like mine and even if your hand isn't shaky it's just a lot more like helpful and I got a short one I think I might buy a taller one though because I need to film on higher spots, but um, I really like this tripod and you can find um, some good ones on Amazon for pretty cheap. Okay, so now we're just gonna be moving into the portion of the video where I kind of just like pretend like I'm making a video and hopefully this will give you guys some help on how to make better videos. Okay, so first off when I'm making a video, I like to kind of show where I am. So whether it's like a few clips of like your bed or it's like maybe like your nightstand or something, you just wanna like kind of like show where the video is. So like, for example, this video would be in my room. Okay, so now um, this would be like the part where I pick out an outfit. And if I had good lighting in my closet, maybe I would film in here, but also it's just low key really messy. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be a very rare sighting of you guys see, ever seeing my closet, but maybe if I ever clean it out one day, I'll do like a closet tour or something if y'all be interested. But anyways, that's not the point of the video. So I'd like pick out an outfit to show um, in the video and then I'd go like place it out inside my room. Um, okay, so now I've picked out the outfit and first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna straighten out the clothes because it just makes it look like a lot more presentable than rather it being all like bunched up on top of each other. So um, if you guys don't understand what I mean, like you could either have like this in your video or you could have something like this, which I think like looks a lot more presentable and just better um, in general. But also you could like fold the clothing or take it off the hanger, just whatever you need to do to make it look more like clean. Okay, so now I'm gonna be talking about some transitions for clothing. So some really common ones are just like grabbing the corner of it and just like placing it down. So you're always gonna to wanna to use very slow motions. Or if it's on a hanger, you could go like follow the hanger like that or like, if you know what I mean. But yeah, those are some like good ideas um, of transitions with clothing. Okay, so next I'm gonna be talking about some transitions with products that you can do. So I'm just gonna be taking this little mini 62 um, as an example for this portion of the video. Okay, so starting off, I'm gonna talk about lighting with the product, so, or like anything in general, I guess, but like, see how this product is kind of backlit? Um, like it's not, it doesn't really look like itself. You're gonna wanna find the good lighting that makes the product look good. But right here, there's like a perfect blank wall that makes the product look so good. Like, I just like to have a simple background so that way you can really focus on what's like the center of attention right now, which would in this case be um, this perfume. So now let's talk about some transitions with it. So I only really have like a, one main one, which is like turning the product, I guess. So you could turn it like up kind of, I guess. And make sure you're like, holding on to the product good because if you just have a loose hand then it's just going to fall out and it's going to look sloppy so just make make sure it looks like good and then another one you could turn it from like this side and then another one some people do they go like that or um you could also just do no transition and just like hold out your products and like just make sure that your hand is really steady. So those are some good transitions with products. Okay, and then another tip I have for when you're recording. So look, like do you see this? Um, like, I don't know, I just grabbed this random uh, room spray, um, but like, look at this. 
the background is very distracting and it's not like clean which takes a lot away from your um video so you could have this or you could have this which is like more clean and in place and just like everything looks a lot better so you could really focus on the product and not really the mess Okay, and the final tip I have for y'all is if you are taking, like, a product that is not very popular for, or, or, like, preppy, for example, this Cetaphil uh, moisturizer, you might want to, like, swap it out with something that's more preppy. So, Glow Recipe is very, like, popular and trendy, so you could swap this out for that. Just, like, I know it is a lot more expensive, but if you guys are willing to spend the money... Um, typically, people are more likely to watch your videos when you have more trendy products or, like, popular products that are not, like, dupes. And also, if you guys want me to make a video on, like, trending products, I can. So that can give you guys some good ideas for what would be good in a video. But, yeah. I okay, but now this video has to come to an end. And if you guys like this video, make sure to like it and subscribe for more content. And please comment down below. Um, more video ideas since I always could use more ideas and I hope this video was helpful and I love you all, all so much and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye!